thank you everybody for coming today. And um, for starters, I'd like to thank my assistant uh, coaches. They're all in the room today. Bernard Scott, Shannon Sword, Meredith Docker. Um, we've all put on a lot of miles this year. Our administration's done a great job supporting us. Um, the fact that we've had 11 official visits and we're closing the deal with five more ladies today. We're extremely excited um, to be welcoming uh, Brandy Brown, Brooke Conley, Boyana Dimitro, um, Miriam Jenkins, and Tara Jones to our women's basketball family. We're excited about the future uh, to put those five with the other three we signed in the fall, um, Casey, Melissa, and Caitlin Roars. Uh, we're excited. We've got eight down and one more to go uh, with our six returners, and we're really excited about the future here at Youngstown State. Would anybody have some questions? Coach, what do you think the, the strength of this class that you just signed? Is there an overall uh, strength to these players? Um, I think it could be summed up in a couple words. One is um, athleticism. Um, another is scoring power. Uh, we're excited that all these ladies um, have have great record and great history of scoring um, in many different ways. You know, we have some shooters we're bringing in, some slashers we're bringing in, um, a good post player in Brandy Brown we're bringing in, um, and two great guards in, in Merriam and Bokey that can really um, – push the break, push the transition, um, and, and really pick up the tempo, which is what we're looking to do. Coach, do you feel better about the level of talent now than what you had? Not to displace what, what we had in the past, but do you feel better about the talent now? Do you feel like they can be a little bit more competitive this year? with the, the You moves? know, I mean, I, I absolutely loved every second of this last year, and we wish the seniors very well in their uh, future endeavors. And um, I think that every coach has their own system and their own philosophy, and I think that these – five young ladies really fit in to, to my system and my philosophy. So we're very excited about that. And um, we just mentioned before, as far as the tempo and the pace, you know, we're really going to be able to pick up for 94 feet now um, if we want to for the whole game, you know, which I'm very excited about. And that comes with death. That comes with experience out of our six returners. Um, and experience that you get when you bring in three, three junior college transfers um, like we're doing. So I, I think that um, just our fundamentals are going to be a little bit better in some of the offensive skills that we're looking to do in our system. Um, is something that we're very excited about. You have one local product, a few years removed, but a lot of people say recruit locally, recruit locally, and, and you've been able to bring somebody home. To we're here to say today we just signed a, a very, very um, good local young lady, and Tara Jones. Um, she played at Rayan High School, um, Youngstown East now. She played for um, Brenda and Tanisha, who are her coaches, and everybody's been very supportive in that process. Uh, we were up, some, up against some stiff competition with Providence. It was probably it was down to us, too, and um, we were able to keep her home and bring her home, and we're excited about that. She's in California right now, and... Um, you know, her mom, everybody was very involved with this, and we're excited to be bringing another local young lady to go with Michaela. What's she capable of bringing to the program? Tiara Jones is, is, a, is a straight player. You know, she's, you give her a ball, she goes to the rim. Um, great on defense, long, lanky, a nice six-foot um, long and tall guard. That we're extremely excited about her versatility and the different ways she can score. This will be her third stop. Is, uh, can right. you elaborate on, on the, the process or, or the reasons, as you know them, why it's taking her time to Abs find a, her yeah. niche. Yeah, Tierra um, went to Buffalo um, at a high school, and um, from what she shared with us, it, it just wasn't the best fit for her, and it was something that she felt it was best to, to go on to a junior college after that, and she's been playing for Jody Craig this last year at Foothill. Um, it's up in beautiful San Jose, California. I got to go out there a couple weeks ago and check her out um, at her own school, and like I said, I think that... Um, you know, there's always different reasons for transferring. It sounds like it just wasn't her particular niche, and she was looking to do something else. And I think she's a great fit for me, Jim. So we're pretty happy about the deal. California has become a uh, at least potentially good hunting ground for you. How is what's the background on that? The developmental story behind that? You know, Jim, um, myself, I've never recruited California prior to <laughs> last April with Macy Norty. So Macy actually is the one that got it going for us. Um, we brought in a, a good. You know, player from that area, she played for a good high school, um, good AU program for Ray Mays, one of the best AU programs um, out there on the West Coast. And um, Miriam also played for the same AU program. And Brady is not a product of that program, but played for a different program. And um, we think the Southern California area is going to be a good, a good niche for us. So uh, we're going to go wherever we need to go, including Serbia um, for Boyana. But <laughs> we didn't get to go over to Serbia. We didn't have to. She was here in the States playing junior college ball. But, um, you know, I'm really excited about the diversity um, that this class brings, especially, as you mentioned, just from different areas and regions of our country. You know, both being from Kansas and, um, you know, two from California, one from right here in town, and, and it's just nice to have some diversity. you got one left. What, what are, you, are you looking for? Any particular uh, inside, outside? You know, Pete, that's a good question. Um, we are going to make sure that it's the best fit for our program. You know, we're going to take the young lady that, um, that's out there that is available, um, 
and, and it would be a good fit for what else we're bringing to the table. I think that the fit is the most important thing at this point, and um, we're definitely working on that right now. Coach, you mentioned several times during the, the season that um, part of the difficulty was new staff, new system, new players. You're going to have eight new players who will all be exposed to a new staff, um, you know, new system, all that. How will it be different? You know, I'm so glad you asked that, Jim. I think that um, during the recruiting process, when you've been recruiting ladies for a year um, at a time, you just get to know them so much better than when you're kind of thrown in. Um, the other difference is we have six returners that are doing a fantastic job this spring. Um, they're, they're really working hard in the weight room, on the court, coming in and getting their shots up. We've been working on pretty, pretty much just solely offensive skills and in our individual workouts with the coaching staff. Um, so those two things are in place. And then also our staff has been together now for a year. So um, I'm really excited about putting all three of those things together. Yes, we have eight new ladies, hopefully nine on our roster, um, but we think the transition is going to be a lot smoother, a lot quicker. Um, you know, it's you know April and we already know who we have, you know, and, and we're getting to know the personalities and um, developing our relationship over the summer um, so that the fall isn't going to be such a, a big transition. Is somebody not coming back from last year? Uh, Jaquetta Wesley has decided uh, not to return on the team next year. She's still in school finishing up. Does anybody have any questions? Yeah. Uh, can any of the recruits uh, compete for a starting position? I think they all have the potential, um, and that's something that we've been you know, very open and honest about um, from day one when I took the job a little over a year ago. Um, they earn it in practice, and we've told every one of them that in the recruiting process. All of our six returners know that as well, um, and we hope that we're going to be you know, 12 deep you know, when everybody's playing you know, and, and fighting out um, for that starting position from day to day, and I think that that inner competition is really what's going to help us improve as the season goes along, you know, I mean, every day, you know, um, for Kenya and Brooke and Tara to go at it every day, and you know, who's going to start this game, or, you know, whatever position you want to put head to head, that's really going to make everybody better in the long run, and I'm excited to see the point guard fight, too, um, that's going to be a good one, we've got some real competitors and some real good leaders at that position.